Hey guys, Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we are going to be doing day 19 of Horror October 2022. And the film that we're going to be talking about today is a um, rather obscure film um, that probably none of you have heard of who watches this. Um, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. Um, a very, you know, underground, lesser known film from this cool DVD that I got, actually, from Arrow Video, called American Horror Project. Um, this is a very cool um, Blu-ray Arrow Video thing I got, and it has three movies. It has uh, The Witch Who Came From the Sea, The Premonition, and Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. Um, so this was the shortest one of the group, and you know I didn't have much time to watch anything, so... I opted to watch this. Um, and, you know, it was okay. I mean, it was really interesting because um, at the very beginning, the um, there was, like, an introduction. And the guy was saying, like, how, like, there's no real, like, plot to this. And it's all, like, you know, about, like, atmosphere and, like, like the vibe of the movie overall. And I was like, uh... Yeah, like, you know, I'm all for, like, you know, an atmospheric experience, like, that can certainly, like, do a lot for a movie, but, man, this movie's plot is so, like, incoherent and random and, like, like, nothing, like, flows well at all. Like, there is a plot, but, like, it also, like, doesn't, like go well as far as like the flow of it like I don't even know just like the the sequence the sequence of events that like unfold in this movie it's just like it's just like so weird to me um with how it like uh depicts you know this whole like carnival and it being like this like scary place and you know the deep dark secrets that lie under it kind of um getting revealed slowly over time and you know you find out like like the the true nature of the carnival and like and you know you're, you're kind of getting to see like also you know not even just like um like the horror stuff but also like like the horror of being at a carnival like <laughs> people trying to like take your money like you know strangers you know weird people running rides like it, it kind of, like, goes for this whole, like, the carnival is a creepy place kind of um, vibe. And, you know, there's definitely, like, some things with that that are enjoyable, I will say. And, you know, like I said, um, like, the atmosphere in this is, is what, like, ultimately, like, helps it a good amount. Um, just, like, this whole, like, carnival and, like, the visuals and the look of it. Um make it um somewhat um okay you know it's a very it's also a very low budget movie i will say um so you know when you see like you know bright red fake blood it's like it's kind of off-putting i'm not gonna lie like that's definitely not what blood looks like so it's like you know it's just like uh kind of like roll my eyes at it it's like but, you know, it was all right. I, you know, I, I really just, I don't know if I want to say I liked it or I, I don't know if I really disliked it. Like, I, I just, uh, I, I'm just like so eh about it. Like, eh. But, yeah, that's that movie. Um, it's, it's, I like to just call it Carnival of Blood, but Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't really think I recommend this movie, but, um, it's certainly an interesting, like, visual experience, like, with its atmosphere, so, I don't know, maybe if you're into, like, like, visuals and atmosphere in a movie, like, that could be something that you might find you enjoy with it, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.